Hi, this is Andrew with CraftyBeetTrick.com. Today, as you can tell by the introduction, we're going to be talking about my map of Westeros. So, with the new season of Game of Thrones coming out, I decided I wanted a map so that I could track the movement of the various personalities within Game of Thrones as they move across Westeros. I wanted to do a laser cut map, however, I don't have access to a laser cutter. So I decided to do it old school, using a jigsaw, some hand tools, and a wood burner. So the first thing that I needed to do is I needed to get a map. After perusing the online options, I decided to look at some of my favorite laser cut maps and using them as a guide, create a version that I could use. Using Inkscape, I traced out the various layers until I built up the different levels that I was happy with. After I had my map finalized, I then printed it off at a scale that I was happy with. Once I had that, I transferred it across to 5mm plywood that I found at my local hardware store. After I had transferred it all across, I then proceeded to cut it out. After I had cut out the rough dimensions, I then went in with the jigsaw and cleaned up the various aspects. After that I went in with files and sandpaper to clean up the details. Once I was happy with the general shapes and the details, I then proceeded to move into the staining. I used a walnut stain to create the land. I used a blue stain to create the ocean. Once I was happy with the stained layers, I then proceeded to glue them together. I used a variety of clamps and weights to make sure that it was flat overall. Once I was happy with the overall layout, I then proceeded to move on to the details. The first details that I added was the rivers. I used a wood burning tool to create these icons. After that, I proceeded to move on to the lettering of the various different cities. Although I wasn't overly impressed with my ability with the wood burner, it does function and it does work. I used some lighter paint to highlight the writing so it could be read on the darker wood finish. After that, I went through and sealed the whole thing with a gloss spray. Once I was finished with the clear coat, I then moved into the details of the forests and the snow. I used a variety of flocking that's available at any local hobby store or model railway store and I glued that on with just some regular craft glue. Once I was happy with the overall effect, I then moved on to creating the frame. I had a wood plane that I used on the edge. After I would glued it all together, I painted it black and then added some gold leaf rub and buff just to bring out some of the details. I was going for a rustic look and I believe I achieved that. After that, I combined the map with the frame and glued it all in place just using some regular wood glue and super glue. It was a rather tight fit in most of the areas, so I'm not too worried about that coming apart anytime soon. After that, the final touch was adding some little standards, some little flags that represent the different houses so that I can keep track of their movements throughout the series. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you're interested in more of these types of builds, please check out my channel on YouTube and subscribe, or go to craftybeetroot.com. Links are in the description. Thank you.